For this lesson, we're going to cover what exactly smart objects are and how they can be used to maybe manipulate the AI's navigation from one nav mesh to the other. So I've built this kind of scenario here where we have a platform and then we have a place to hide. And what we're going to actually use is an AI character and we're going to use another one that's actually the faction of the player. We're not going to be playing, but you can see exactly how he can navigate from one nav mesh to another quite clearly just by us playing or simulating the scene. So before we do anything, let's step back and actually create a nav mesh. So the navigation area is right here. Let's go ahead and put snapping to geometry on. We're going to click navigation area. And if we start clicking out, you'll see the lines. And then you should have blue that draws out. Double clicking will end the nav mesh. And we're going to actually put this down to about five because it's kind of high. And then we can go ahead and freeze it because we're not going to touch it again. The next thing that we want to do is actually add an AI. So we need to go to Entity, AI, Characters, Human. I'm going to double click on that. And I'm going to turn this guy around just so he's facing in the right direction. And let's move him up just a little bit so then we know exactly that he's not penetrating the geometry. So we're going to press play. We move him up. He should drop down just like so. And we're going to do the same thing again, pressing Control D. We're going to move his buddy, and then we're going to press Control Shift to snap him to the base. So this guy is going to be a little bit different because he's actually going to be a player. So in the properties panel of this AI, we need to come over and change the faction to player. So now when we play this out, so if I move this guy here and we press play, this guy goes crazy because he's not supposed to be uh, around a player and be self-contained. He should be shooting at him just as he is. So now we have this predicament that I talked about. We have a navigation mesh up here, one down here, and we also have one out here. We're going to ignore the one out here because it's not really important. But what we want to do is actually have a way for this guy to go from this nav mesh to this one. And we do that by incorporating an object or an entity called a smart object. So if we go back to the AI section and we click smart object, we can bring one into the scene, and it looks kind of like the cover surface. It's an anchor. And what we need to do is go to the Smart Object class, and we want to sort to the navigation human. And what we're doing is we're looking to actually have a jump. So let's do jump V300. We're going to put a check mark and we'll click OK. So this one right here is actually showing that it works. It's perfectly fine the way it's set up. I tend to like to put the edge right where it is. Maybe just have it exactly in line. So now let's see what happens with this in play because technically speaking this is the off mesh navigation that we've been looking for. So if I press play again he doesn't see the guy which is perfectly fine but I slide this guy out start shooting him because he can see him but what happens if I hide this guy back behind this wall? The AI is sitting there, he can't see him, and he goes, okay, well, I can jump down to this nav mesh, and I can execute my kill. Because otherwise, he wouldn't be able to kill him behind the wall. I'm going to stop him just so we don't hear any gunfire. But this is a good explanation of how smart objects work inside of your level, and how you can use them not only on AI itself, but imagine if you were hiding behind this wall. Well, you don't want to make it where you're shooting out, and he never comes after you. That game would not be fun. So the smart objects give you the capacity to make the AI either sneak up on you or hunt you down in this case to kill you or the other AI that work for you.